Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Tonight News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a quick video on the Flyers' pure, it seems, business buyout of Oscar Lindblom, a fan favorite, a favorite of mine. Um, It's very hard to say goodbye to players that are favorites. It was hard years ago when we said goodbye to Jeff Carter and Mike Richards, who were two favorites of mine. Claude Giroux was the biggest favorite of mine, and I remember from doing those videos, um, that was definitely an emotional goodbye, and Oscar Lindblom, pure blue collar, pure Philadelphia, fought the battle, kept the immense gratitude to being able to play in the NHL, and kept that great smile, and one of those guys that just enlightens the room, whatever room he's in, so I wish him all the best elsewhere, and I think he's gonna kick ass elsewhere, because I projected him, and I know people that listen to this podcast, please continue to subscribe to help us grow to the next goal of over 300, hopefully we get to 500 too, so I can start posting the cliff board, but know how much I love Oscar, and I thought he was gonna continue to grow and continue to have a bounce back year next season, because he showed some strides of getting stronger towards the end of last season, now we know too from a recent checkup that he's still cancer free so whoever he goes to I think they're going to get a good net front presence a guy that's going to be able to become more effective in the middle of the ice if they utilize him there were kind of that Shen-esque one-timer and um, I think he's honestly going to fare well wherever else he goes it's sad to see him go because I think he could have fared well with John Tortorella as well but maybe Torch didn't think that was the case or maybe this was just like I said which I think is the most likely case this was just a pure business decision because the Flyers have to free up cap and according to Ant Sam Filippo it actually gives the um Flyers 3.3 million in cap relief because he's an under 26 player so this is a move that made easy sense we're also according to Ant Sam Filippo um the they have teams interested in JVR to conclude this video but for him what costs do they have to throw in there to get rid of JVR and what costs are they willing to throw in to get rid of JVR? Are they willing to give up Travis Konecny in a JVR trade or something like that? Obviously, Oscar Lindblom, uh, since they bought him out, it didn't seem like he was going to be, to any team, a mix-in chip that would have been able to get them over the hump on JVR. Otherwise, you would think they wouldn't buy him out, right? But who knows? But I think this was purely just a business decision. Do I agree with it? No. On the forefront I don't agree with it I think they should have kept Oscar Lindblom I think Lindblom's a guy that definitely is worth three million bucks and definitely could be worth more than that um when he has a very good season now this next season he's finally gonna pay like one million or whatever by the next team because they're gonna want to give him a prove it deal but I think he's gonna put up three million dollar value so to speak and have a kick-ass season so I don't agree with getting rid of him but I see why they did it because they need cap space uh, Fletcher himself put them in cap hell, and now it's about trying to find a way to get out of there. But everybody, please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the Easy Dudes widget to keep the channel growing to the goal of 300. That's our next goal. Hopefully, we can get to 500 soon so I can start posting on the clipboard. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. This has been a reaction to the unfortunate buyout, but hockey's a business of Oscar Lindblom, and I think this was just purely a business decision. Stay safe, everybody, and go Flyers.